Last night we had a customer that brought in two phones for data recovery and both of them were extremely damaged in a very bad shape. He brought in an iPhone 6s Plus that looked something like this and the phone itself was bent badly. He wanted data of that phone and he also brought an iPhone 6 for data recovery and he said it may have suffered liquid damage. Now I took the motherboard out and the motherboard looks like this. It looks like somebody already took the back shields out and somebody already did some work. So I do not know what we are looking at. I see the red marking here, which indicates that water came in contact with that board. So let's take a look at the board. The first thing I want to do is use this amazing meter. I used it in yesterday's video and I love it. The screen is big, colorful, and I love it. I love it. It's nice. So I have the iPhone 6 connector here and this one will connect to the battery and charging port connection on the motherboard. This connector to the battery and charging port. Three amp short is most likely a VCC main short. Let's start by looking at the front of the board. I do not see any signs of liquid on this side of the board and that's why I think the board may have went into an ultrasonic because it looks clean. I mean the board looks very clean, no signs of liquid. But I do see some blue stuff here, I do not know what that is. What's this here? Oh, nothing. Everything looks good. I mean, it looks mint so far. I mean, there's nothing to look at on this side of the board. I did not remove the shields on top here, but I do not see a reason to do so right now. Look at the back. The shield was removed from here. It has been desoldered from here. And uh, the black shield was removed from here also. Absolutely no sign of like, oh, right there. That's a VCC main capacitor. Oh, ho, I think that's the problem. Very common. Let me take a quick look at the rest of the board. This one is known to short out as well, but it looks good here. Maybe the board never went into an ultrasonic cleaning because I do not see any signs of the board being ultrasonic. Okay, I think that's our problem right there. I think that's our problem right there. So let's take a look at the board diagram. This capacitor connects to VCC main. I mean, a three amp short is a VCC main short, almost always. And the component is right over here. This is the capacitor. One end connects the ground and the other end connects the VCC main. So by removing this component, we should be able to test if the short is gone and if the phone power is on. The main reason customer brought this in is so we can get his data back. So let's go ahead and remove this capacitor Gone. Gone with the wind. And let's see, do we still have a short? And will the phone boot? If the phone boots, that's it. I can go home early today.
and it's not giving a short so far. Look at this, it's not giving a short. 4.1 volts, but right now we did not turn the board on. When it had a short, as soon as I powered the meter on, it would show 3 amps being drawn. Let's power the board on. Right now it went straight to 1.3 amps draw. So we may still have a short somewhere on the board. Yeah, we still have a short on the board. 1.3 amps is not normal and I can feel the board heating up. It's not a VCC main short, but it's something else. And to know where that short is coming from, I'm going to take a look at the thermal cam while it's plugged in. Right now the board is drawing 1.345 amps, as you can see here. Let's grab the thermal camera and see if we can pinpoint where that short is coming from. Okay, so now everything is hot on the board. Let me go to the thermal cam camera input and raise the temperature boundary here. Where is that short coming from? I mean, I see two hot spots on the board. I see one over here. Oh, this may be the one I told you about, that it's common for that capacitor to be shorted to ground. So maybe that's the problem. Let me power the meter off. I just pressed the power button on that red meter and it cut the power off the board. And that's what I like about the meter is I can simply leave it connected and I can just power on and off the meter. Very, very handy. I do not have to disconnect the meter off the board. I just press the power button and it turns it off. So the component is this one here, which is under the NAND chip. I kind of tell that the capacitor is a little bit chipped off from here, and this one is a common one that goes faulty on the iPhone 6. Let's test in diode mode quickly. And yes, we have a short. Let's apply some flux and remove that capacitor. Here we can just snatch that capacitor off the board. We do not have to use hot air, but... I'm not answering the phone. Not right now. Okay, now I can answer. HP laptop, which one? Is it an older one? Let's power the phone on now and see if anything changed. Like I said, when you power the iPhone on, it should start 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 1 point something, and then it goes back down. It should not jump straight to 1.3 or straight to 3 amps. Uh, if it does, then that means there's a short somewhere on the board. So we're going to power the meter on, press and hold the test button, and look at that. Short is gone. Meter is starting with 0 0.1, 0 0.2, right there. Zero point three, one, one point one, zero point nine, and it's gonna go back down. Phone is working. All we have to do is put a new screen on and test. Let me grab a screen quick and I'm gonna turn the meter off for now. <coughs> Great. Problem solved. You know, I have a screen right here. Why did I get off the chair? I do not know. 
And thank you very much, Florcam. We do not need your services anymore. Just go to sleep, relax. Tomorrow is Sunday. And don't talk to me until Monday. I still have not set up the top camera here after reorganizing the bench, but I will do so as soon as possible. I know you cannot see the bench or what I'm doing right now, but all I'm doing is just connecting the screen to the motherboard and we already have the power cable still plugged in. And that's what I like about this power cable. I can just keep it in. It doesn't get off easy and very easy to turn on and off. You can buy this tester off our website. We currently have about uh, probably 35 pieces in stock. So if you need one, you can buy it now. Otherwise, if we run out of stock, you have to wait for the next batch. Okay, so connection number one. شو يا حب؟ ايه بالمحل انا؟ لا لا بس هلا عم خلص شغلي عم بعمل فيديو اولموست دان طيب بيب اوكي ناو ذا سكرين از كونكتد ليتس هولد ات اب لايك ذس اند باور اون ذا ميتر بريس اند هولد ذا اند هيز سكرين از ديد هيز سكرين از نوت جود but the phone did power on. Let me power it off. I'll grab one of our screens. The phone powered on. Now the phone may still be fully functional, so I'm going to replace the capacitors for the customer. I'm not going to do it today. I'll do it on Monday. It's 6, 10 right now, and I want to go home. So I just want to make sure the phone is booting up. Okay, and I have a new black screen here. Okay, so our screen is connected. Okay, so let's try one more time. So I'm holding the motherboard with the meter connection onto it and the screen already connected to the board. And let's power the meter on. 4.1 volts, let's power the phone on, press and hold the test button. And look at that, look at that. Have you ever seen a better looking Apple logo before? Look at the amp meter, uh, one amps, 0 0.9. Watch how when the phone boots up, amperage is gonna go back down. Right now it's at 0 0.4, 0 0.3. I mean, hopefully it boots up. I'm confident it's gonna boot up, but we have to wait and see right there. Uh, touch works. Yes. Touch is working. Beautiful. Beautiful. One, two. Uh, I do not want to enter the wrong password. So just close. And that's it. And I'm going to put the meter on the side. Meter disconnected. And this is one of the connections for the meter. As you can see, there are a lot of them. 6, 6 plus, 6s, six 6s six plus are the same, iPhone X, iPhone 8, so on and so forth. So let's put this on the side. 
And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video. Where's the keyboard?